Many of us grew up learning there are eight planets in our solar system, but what if I told you there are actually 13? Yes, you heard it right. These additional celestial bodies are known as dwarf planets, and they're an intriguing part of our cosmic neighborhood. Dwarf planets, unlike the eight regular planets we're familiar with, are a unique breed. They do orbit the sun, just like their larger cousins. However, they're unable to clear their orbit of other debris, which is a defining characteristic of a true planet. They're like the underdogs of the solar system, smaller yet brimming with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Among these dwarfs, five stand out, each with its own unique story to tell. They add a new dimension to our understanding of the solar system, expanding the family from a cozy eight to a bustling 13. So, are you ready to embark on this cosmic journey to uncover the five hidden gems of our solar system? Our first stop is none other than the infamous Pluto, demoted from its planetary status, yet still a fascinating member of our solar system. As we journey to the fringes of the solar system, nestled within the Kuiper Belt, we find this icy dwarf planet. Pluto, named after the Roman god of the underworld, is a mere one-sixth the size of Earth's moon. Its surface, a chilly wilderness of rock and ice, is home to mountain ranges and plains, sculpted by an unimaginably slow geological heartbeat. But it's not alone. Orbiting Pluto is its largest moon, Charon, so sizable that some consider this pair a binary system. Now why the demotion from planet to dwarf planet? It's because Pluto failed to meet all three criteria set by the International Astronomical Union for Planetary Status. Most notably, it hasn't cleared its neighboring region of other objects. Despite its demotion, Pluto continues to captivate us with its enigmatic charm. Now we journey to Eris, the most massive of all dwarf planets and the farthest from the Sun. Discovered in 2005, its sheer size sparked a debate that ultimately dethroned Pluto from its planetary status. Eris's discovery reshaped our understanding of the solar system, highlighting the existence of a plethora of such bodies beyond Neptune. Eris is accompanied by a single moon, Dysnomia, named after the Greek spirit of lawlessness, a fitting companion for a planet named after the Greek goddess of discord and strife. This icy red dwarf orbits the sun in a highly elliptical path, taking a whopping 560 years to complete one revolution. Its distant and unusual orbit, coupled with its significant mass, makes Eris a fascinating object of study. It's a testament to the incredible diversity and complexity of our solar system, where even the smallest bodies can cause the greatest stir. Eris, a celestial body of discord, indeed caused a stir in our understanding of the solar system. Next, we traverse to Homia and Mekmek, two intriguing dwarfs often overshadowed by their bigger cousins. Our journey begins with Homia, a peculiar entity in the cosmos. Named after the Hawaiian goddess of childbirth, Homia stands out for its peculiar, elongated shape, more akin to a rugby ball than a sphere. This bizarre shape is due to its incredibly fast rotation, spinning on its axis once every four hours, one of the quickest rotations in our solar system. Now imagine a world bathed in a reddish-brown hue, sitting in solitude in the Kuiper Belt. That's make-make for you. This dwarf planet is named after the creation deity of the Rapa Nui people of Easter Island. Make Make is known for its solitary moon, MK2, a silent companion in its lonely orbit. Both Homia and Make Make reside in the frigid outskirts of our solar system in an area known as the Kuiper Belt. This region beyond Neptune is a reservoir of ancient, icy objects, a frozen snapshot of the early solar system. The names Haumea and Make Make are steeped in mythology, just like their better-known counterparts. They remind us that the stories we tell about the stars aren't just about science. They're also about our human instinct to make sense of the universe, to connect with it, to place ourselves within its grand narrative. Haumea and Make Make, though often forgotten, hold their own unique allure in the cosmic dance. Finally, we venture towards Ceres the closest dwarf planet to the Sun and the only one residing in the asteroid belt. Ceres is unique in its location, nestled amongst countless asteroids yet standing out due to its spherical shape, a testament to its status as a dwarf planet. This cosmic body, although smaller than our moon, is intriguing in its own right. One of its most captivating features is the bright spots that speckle its surface. These luminous areas, predominantly found in the Ocata crater, have sparked curiosity and countless theories. 
The possibility of water ice on Ceres is not merely an interesting fact, but it carries profound implications for astrobiology. If water ice exists beneath the surface of this dwarf planet, it could hint at the potential for life, at least at a microbial level. Ceres' story is far from complete. As we continue to explore and understand this fascinating dwarf planet, we are reminded of its potential and its mysteries. Ceres, a beacon of possibilities, reminds us that even the smallest members of our solar system have secrets to share.